Have you tried nibbling Carolina Reaper? If you do, how is it getting you? Carolina Reaper is the most hottest paper in the world. It measures more than a thousand Scoville. So if you handle Carolina Reaper, you definitely wear gloves because if you don't, oil gets in into your hand and if you accidentally touch your face or touch your eyes, it burns like fire. Even if you wash your hand with water a couple times, oil still there. So Greg Seven took a small bite of Carolina Reaper and within few seconds, all turned hell. He became Hawk. You know those, the movie Hawk? But Hawk came out green. Greg Steven came out red. I, can, I could see his face turning red. He couldn't stop drooling and he had to drink a couple glasses of milk to stop the heat. And it took him 45 minutes before the intensity of heat starting to disappear. Can you imagine a small bite it gets you? Then why so many people want to grow Carolina Reaper? And why is it this plant is so popular? Is this because of the intensity of the heat? Or it is because of the uniqueness of the fruit? So today in this video, we're gonna be growing and harvesting Carolina, Carolina Reaper. And I'm going to show you how this plant can grow so fast. All right, let's get started. So when I do my germination, I applied neem powder. You can apply neem powder to prevent dumping off. But I find good benefits with hydrogen peroxide if I apply this uh, in water. So what you will need, you just need one tablespoon per gallon. I like this shot glass. You can buy this uh, in some of the greenhouse. Then you just put in a gallon container on the water. Then after that, you fill in below. This is going to absorb the water. So instead of watering from on the top, it's better you water below. Okay, so then after that, you cover your germination to keep the moisture. I prepare to open the vent instead of closing it. It is ideal to close the vent because you want that moisture. But me, I keep forgetting opening the vent once the seedling starting to uh, start starting to grow roots. But if you are forgetful it's better doing this way so that's how you germinate seeds so I'm going to follow up you within two weeks what will happen with the seeds so stick with me okay so this is the resort guys look at that look at that Ooh, nice Carolina Reaper so we're going to transplant this So when you transplant your seedlings, I transplant this one here. So you need mycoplast. This is my this is going to help your seedlings new root system to fight against pathogen. And then it also helps your seedlings uh, not going into stress because that is the problem of transplant is stress in the plant. So this is going to help that. So I will link this product below this video. Okay, you see that I add Epsom salt and fertilizer together. Now this one here is the uh, mix with hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to use this, not only helping my paper to grow bigger, it's also giving extra oxygen. It's so cute. One eternity later. 
Ching ching. <laughs> so these are the Carolina Reaper guys. Look at look at that. Look at how fast they, they grow. So probably the fertilizer I use make them bigger. And this is almost uh, one month now. And I, I probably going to prune this uh, Carolina Reaper because they can spread widely and it will be hard for me to work on. So that's how fast is Carolina Reaper and I grow tons of them. So we had the Carolina, we, we grew our Carolina Reaper a little bit late because when we ordered our seeds, the, uh, the seeds we received were cayenne paper and I'm going to show you. I had a lot of cayenne paper so they made a mistake. So Ching! <laughs> so this is the mistake guys they sent us with cayenne paper and I was uh, at first I was disappointed because I really need the Carolina Reaper seeds but what I discovered is all the cayenne but we use a lot of cayenne anyway so it's a lot of fruit look at that it's ripe now look at that so I might have to harvest so let's go ahead and harvest our Carolina Reaper so we're going to harvest this fruit. Harvesting uh, the fruit, it allows for the plant to uh, to bloom again. But besides that, if you don't harvest the the paper, it gets mold, moldy. So let's go ahead and harvest this. This is a lot. Alright, here's the uh, uh, recommendation guys. If you harvest Carolina Reaper and you don't want to uh, grow right away, you just want to put it in the storage. So I would do to cut it to open that, you know, oil. <coughs> oh my gosh, I just inhaled. <coughs> wow, it is just like tear gas. So open it because you want to allow those uh, oil to skip out because otherwise it creates mold then once it dries then you start collecting the seeds Ugh. Whew, I should have mask I hate wearing mask alright this is for today guys and thank you for watching if you want Carolina Reaper you got it <laughs> I also have Malabar look at my Malabar so if you have any questions or comments write below this is Marcelina at CastureGreens.com see you next time a peace let's go to work cause I'm tripping gotta work on myself cause I'm falling apart please wake me up But they don't need all my challenges to search for my strength I defeat them all, I'm never ever gonna hide no more I come to love myself again, yeah For all the things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go above it all.